Hey fellow woodcutters, Topsaw here. Today's video, it's gonna be a foundation going in on a 1200 square foot cottage. It'll have footings in it, stem walls, flat work. Uh, so you get a good view of the whole thing going in from start to finish. I'm gonna try and keep it under 10 minutes. It'll just be a quick overview video to kind of see the process from start to finish. This foundation was put in by Freedom Concrete. Absolutely fantastic concrete contractor. Uh, did such a beautiful job. So it all kind of starts with layout. Uh, that takes those batter boards right there, metal stakes to lay the corners, chalk on the ground to show where the building's going to go, checking, double checking that everything's square using the Pythagorean theorem, and then starting to dig the footing. So this is just starting to dig the footings out, um, and it's going pretty well. You can see right up here, a black bear came into the zone last night and left us a little deposit, probably just getting ready for me to move in and leave my garbage out. So that's kind of cool to see the wildlife visiting. And then digging the footings on the batter boards you could see in the corner right there. And then here we are starting to form up and everything's perfectly square. There's a laser level there. This is the garage with the boards going in for the forms and now it's all formed up. So you can see how high those stem walls are gonna be in the back corner of the garage. And then that down below is the footing. After those things are all framed up, the steel starts going in and you can see all of the rebar that's put in there all tied together. All well formed up, metals in, steels in for the stem walls and the footings. Uh, a few last minute pieces, double checking that all the forms are plumb. Everything's square, everything's level, using the laser to check it. And then here's the electrical in the corner of the garage. That's gonna be a conduit sweep where the electrical is gonna go in. So that goes right through the footing. And then next to that is a ground rod to make sure it's grounded. In addition, the electrical is plumbing. This is a septic system or the sewage pipe going down to the septic system. It goes under the footing. It's wrapped in foam and water tested to make sure it doesn't leak. The building inspector wants to check that full of water um, before he signs off on all of the steel and form work before you pour. So there's an inspection from the county before uh, you pour and then also again before you pour the slabs. These are the anchor bolts that get put in. A lot of times the framer is kind of in charge of putting in the hardware into the foundation because he's the one who's going to be putting the sills on top and bolting those sills down to the footing or the stem wall. So these are all of the foundation bolts. Um, clearly this house isn't going to go anywhere in an earthquake or anywhere else. Um, it's really, really a little overkill, but I'd always rather make it too large than too small. And then again, there's the electrical sweep with the grounding rod right next to it. Then here's the big day starting to pump. So there's a concrete truck right there. That concrete truck comes in, pours into the pump truck, and then the pump truck pumps the concrete up through that big boom and drops it right into the stem wall. So there's really not a lot of heavy lifting. It ended up, I think, being five or six concrete trucks at 10 yards a piece to pour all of these footing and stem walls. You could see the, the mobility in that pump truck, how cool it is, uh, how you could just move that boom anywhere you want and you just fill accordingly. Hosing everything wet, hosing everything down to keep it wet so the lumber doesn't suck out all of the moisture as the concrete goes in. And then the guy with the remote on the left of the screen is the one controlling the boom. Now that they've been pumping for a while, you can see how all of the footings are filled in with concrete there. Uh, they come down through the form boards and fill in the trench and that's the footing and up above them is really the stem wall. That pump truck could get the concrete kind of anywhere. The guy in the middle there with the strap across his back, he has a remote control controlling the boom. The guy on the right side of the screen is holding the hose and filling up um, the foundation and stem walls. And then the guy standing on top there, he has an electrical device called a stinger that vibrates all the concrete down. So he's putting that thing down into the wet concrete and it shakes around and makes the concrete drop down. All right, so that's it. Poured all the footings and stem walls, started pulling off all of the form boards, and you can see how nice that concrete looks. You can see all of the anchor bolts sticking out through the top of the walls. 
Uh, part of the reason why everything looks so clean is because he vibrated that concrete down uh, and did just such a good job. And the pump truck got it all the concrete where it needed to be. Same day, pulling the form boards off so they don't really stick on there. And you can just see how beautiful this job has really turned out. That's down below in the basement on the right side of the screen. The steppings of the stem walls coming up. On the far left will be a front porch going into the front door. And then there's going to be a slab in that basement. So that's going to be a kind of a next step after a few more things get done. And then there's a garage on the left. In the wall right there, that's going to be the clothes washer drain. And then the sewage pipe going through the footing that we looked at earlier. Before this slab could get poured in the garage, all of the biomatter needed to get taken out. The dirt laid, dirt laid flat and then backfilled with crushed rock so there won't be any settling at all or any cracks in the driveway. And you can see down there, there's the basement. And you can see the crawl space is kind of a mess still, but that's going to get cleaned up. But it is going to be a pretty large crawl space, and that's why the walls are so high. Now down in the basement, that also got cleaned off and then backfilled with rock. And then we also water sealed the uphill side of the stem wall. So this is it right here. It gets a waterproof paint painted onto it, a felt, and then that dimple board to keep the water off, another layer of felt. And then at the bottom, there's a perforated pipe to take the water out and then back filled in with crushed rock. This was actually not called out on the plans, but it seemed like a good idea to do before all the dirt got back filled up against the foundation. So Freedom Concrete as well did this, did a beautiful job water sealing it. Uh, really, maybe overkill, but better to be safe. The last thing you want is water to kind of seep through the concrete and fill your basement up with water or have water kind of running underneath the footing through your crawl space. This right here is the front porch where those piles of rocks are. And then you can see all the metal that went in um, for the garage. Now this is a little bit later after that uh, footing got dug for that front porch, corner post right there, filled with rock, and then also all of the rebar put in there to make sure it doesn't crack and make it really nice and solid. And then down below, um, the basement's covered with visqueen or plastic, rebar's put in there, that hole in the plastic's a footing, and that footing is gonna be for a post that a beam's gonna start on that stem wall go all the way out over that basement and then bear down onto that post. So that's what that hole in the plastic's for. And then now they're actually digging in the post um, for the deck. So those are the deck posts in the far distance there using sonotube filled with concrete hardware on top. Those posts will go onto those footings and that'll be that. Now what we're doing right now is pouring all the concrete slabs, the slabs I uh, got poured super early this morning, and you could see finishing them, um, how nice they're coming out. So it's a lot of labor right here, but the more time you put in finishing it, the smoother and nicer it's going to look. The garage looks beautiful, a lot of expansion cracks put in there. So if there is a crack, you won't be able to see it, it'll go into those little cracks. There's a front walk, pulling the form boards off to finish both the top of that front porch and also the sides of that slab. So they look really nice. These guys, I mean, it is such a privilege just to watch these craftsmen work. They are so gifted and talented. Uh, what they could get done is really amazing, and it just comes out absolutely perfect. And then there it is. There's the finished product right there, just looking beautiful. Slab on the bottom, slab on the garage, electrical going down. Uh, just really enjoyable to watch. Love to hear your comments below. If you do concrete, any thoughts on this whole foundation? I was really impressed and hope you liked this video and uh, it was informative. Thank you for watching.